peace and blessings to you all on this fine new moon Virgo I just wanted to say before I begin that I love all of you guys and I really appreciate every one of you who do take the time to watch my videos and listen to the message that I have to share and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel it gets more viewers to come and see my message so, with that being said, I'm here to talk about the new moon in Virgo. We all know that the new moon is a time when the sky is blacked out. But it is also a time when the conscious mind and the subconscious mind become in tandem. They become compatible. They become in the same harmonious energy. And so with this, we really do have an opportunity for us to tap in to subconscious energy and use it at the forefront of our conscious mind. So a lot of times this this new moon feels like a burst of energy. It feels like a new beginning. It feels like we finally have all the tools and all of the ideas and all of the and we just want to get started. But that's not the case in action wise because the new moon is a time for us to plan. It's time for us to, yes, a little bit of action, but we're not actually doing what it is that we intend to do. We are planting the seed. So right now, as we enter earth season and we move away from fire season, we are bringing with us new clarity on how it is we really want to plant our seeds. With this earth stableness, we are rooted to the ground literally this time. And we are asked what it is and what it is that we desire for us to move forward with ourselves, with our jobs, with our partners, with our family, with our lives. <clears throat> and to really come into terms with what we actually desire and what we really, what's our intention. The new moon comes around and we ask ourselves, what is our intention you know, we get we get this 28-day 28, 28 cycle. So this new moon carries on all the way into the new one on September 29th. And we get this entire cycle to kind of see our seeds grow. And how we're going to tend to them. And how we're going to water them. And how we're going to replenish them. So it's ultimately up to you to pick your seeds, right? Free will here. But every new moon has a different flair, has a different different taste, and, and, and ultimately for everyone individually has a different recipe. So Virgo, being an earth sign itself, is yes, very grounded, very reliable, but it rules the sixth house. The sixth house in astrology is the house of selfless service. It is the house of our body. It is the house of health, food. It is the house of details, analytical minds and thinking. It's governed by Mercury, the planet of communication, but not in a way that it's sporadic, in a way that it's slow and very detail-oriented. So with that being said, Mercury is also in Virgo. We have the Sun, the Moon, Mercury, Venus, and Mars all in Virgo. So this is five planets right now in Virgo. So this is bringing us a taste of selfless service, if you will. And it's also for some of us bringing us a little bit of self-critique and maybe some critique on others. And this is because Virgos ultimately know what is good, what is just, and what needs to be taken care of. That's why there's such hard working energy, because they want to perfect. They get a bad rep because a lot of people think they are just perfectionist, and they don't really like themselves, and they want to perfect everything, but that's not the case. The case is, is that Virgo energy is beautiful, and that is here to show us selfless service it is here to show us what could be better within ourselves it is here to challenge us 
and to challenge the world to see the fine details of things and how we can be better than what we are today. And I fucking love that about Virgo because that is just great. That is just great. Like that energy is perfect, especially mixed in with the new moon and all these planets in Virgo. It's really asking us to step down from our pedestal that we were on in Leo season and be like, um, ma'am, knock, 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 hello, what are you doing? Like, what are you, are you really satisfied with the way that you are portraying yourself on this pedestal, with the way that you are expressing yourself, with the way that you are loving to your fullest, with the way that you are moving your body, taking care of yourself, doing what you do in your career, are you really, is this really good enough? So it's questioning us and it's getting down to the little itty bitty details because that's the way that Virgo mind works and we're all going to experience that because Mercury, like I said, is in Virgo. And it's asking us to be real with ourselves and to really take a telescope here or a microscope, if you will, and analyze how we can be not only a better service to ourselves, but to the world. You know, this is a time for us to really be questioning if what we're doing with our lives is really intentional. And if it's really serving the greater good, and if it's really helping others, or if it's really even serving us to the fullest. And we want to ask ourselves these questions about our relationships with other people and who we have in our lives. And we also want to ask ourselves this question of selfless service in regards to taking care of ourselves and our body. Are we really ultimately, down to the nitty gritty details, taking care of our human flesh, of our body, nurturing it, giving to it the nutrients that it needs, feeding it the right things. All of these are perfect intentions for this new moon, to take care of our body, to start something new. Ultimately, we want to start something new because we have a trine with Uranus to the moon and the sun, and it's bringing us change. So anything that you want right now and you intend to do and you put your mind to, Uranus is backing us up. Uranus is bringing us this ultimate desire for you to evolutionize your path into a greater being, into a greater life filled with prosperity and stability and reliability and earth energy. So it's allowing us to... Now look at the bigger picture, because sometimes we got to look at the details, you know. It, sometimes we get too lost in the big picture that we, we lose all the details of life. And, and when we look, and sometimes when we look at the details the wrong way, we become very critical. Because Virgo energy ultimately just wants the best for everyone. They want things to be good. They want things to be perfect in their own eyes. So a lot of this can bring energy for us being self-critical, even critical towards others. And I think there's a good way and a right time to do that if you if we really want to help others. And I feel like with Virgo season and us wanting to be of service to others gives us an opportunity to really perfect our own ability to be of service to others. And we... Ultimately, as we step down from Leo season, we have to know that it's not all about us. And, and to be of selfless service, to me, what I truly believe it is, is being able to, of course, hold space for someone to be listened to, to be nurtured, but also to have no judgments on what we believe is the ultimate truth for someone else and what they should do. 
And so this is a very hard thing to get through sometimes and to break through sometimes with Virgo season. Because like I said, Virgo sees everything and they see all the details and they just want to fix it because they're fixers and they just want the best for you and they know what the best is and they just want to make sure that everyone's perfect and that they're perfect too and that they come off as perfect. But that's not the case, Virgo. Sorry. So selfless service to me <clears throat> is giving back the time that you have to someone else and I feel like time is, is one thing we can't get back in life but we can give it to other people and we can give it to them that it in hope and in faith that it does better them for their path and all we can do is hope that their spirit, their soul, or their higher self knows which way to go from there. We can only guide others to see the light, but we cannot show them the light. And we can only truly be of selfless service to others if we are willing to put our egos aside if we are willing to put ourselves aside in our own problems and really just listen to someone and be, be a backboard for someone to talk to. Because whether they, whether they know it or not, whether they know where they're going or where they want to go or what they want to change or whether they don't is really ultimately none of our business. And their spirit knows what path they are on and where they are headed to. The most we can do is be a shadow and a reflection for that and just listen because that's the most that they can do as well is listen to spirit, is listen to their higher self. And if we share that with them, if we share that medicine with them, their spirit will understand the true art and in power of listening and not just I think you need to change this that and this and I think it would be a lot better for you if you did that and I feel like you should do this with your life and I think that it would just ultimately be better for you if you went in, if you went and did this or if you changed this about that don't do that. Unless someone is really, really asking you what you think, what, be, what would be better for them, then yes, you can tell your opinion. But you could say, personally, I believe, and this is my opinion, you don't have to follow it. This is just advice because you asked me. And this is a very powerful message that I have been you know, working on for the past year or so is to wait to be invited. When we want to tell people what could be better or what could be changed, we need to wait to be invited for that, for that wisdom, that knowledge, that, that help, that service. Because then people really seek you out for what you have to offer, which means they see you. It means that they honor you and they see what you have to offer and they're coming to you either for you to listen to them and to just be a reflection or to actually seek out your opinion on things. But if we're just like, blah, 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 there's that, this, and it's just like, whoa, did I even ask you for your advice? Like, who are you? You don't have no right to be telling me. And it's just like, you don't know me. And I dealt with that my whole life, okay? My, my sister has Virgo energy to the max and I got unsolicited advice and what sh what could be perfected about me all the time. It's not fun. <laughs> so with that being said, right now is a powerful time to think about those things that I talked about, but also to think about what we can improve and do better for ourselves because we can critique ourselves right 
but in a way that we are okay with. In a way that we are not too self-critical. Like, man, I am way behind in life or I am not perfect enough or in order for me to be, you know, successful, I need to have this and that and be at this place in my life because I'm already this old and blah, 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 blah. Okay, no, that's not the way to go. But ultimately, it's really important that we be patient with ourselves and to love ourselves where we're at and to have the faith and have the positivity that our spirit and our higher self knows where we're going and it knows where to direct us if we listen again. If we are too busy looking externally on how we should look and how we should feel and where we should be in our lives and what we should be doing, this this is going to create the negative mindset of self-critique because it's that should factor. It's that we should be doing this. We should. So changing your mindset from judgmentalism to openness, we need to execute should. We need to execute what we should be doing and we should just do what we love and live in the moment but plan for the future and let go of the past so that is my message to you all for this virgo new moon i don't want to keep going if you have any more questions about this virgo new moon and, and some of the aspects that it creates and what it offers Please reach out to me. I would love to even look deeper into your birth chart and get an understanding of how this new moon is going to benefit you individually because my horoscopes are all, you know, a collective experience and um, I love looking at personal birth charts. I even do personal birth chart readings in general in person or online or video chat. So hit me up for that. Um, I'll leave my email below or you can check out my website and order from there as well. And I hope that this new moon brings nothing but fruition to you all and stableness and selfless service to your others and to your body and that you eat right and you get everything that you deserve. So let the planets be with you and... Peace.